Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, it is Sunday, the sun's coming out beautifully. Of course it's been raining for like, I don't know, a couple of hours off and on, but now it's all blue sky. So odd, we've had the most glorious, like maybe five or six days, just cool and blue sky, beautiful. So I was a bit shocked, <laughs> shocked let me tell you to see the rain this morning. I wasn't planning on it being rainy. Not that it matters. It's always lovely to have a bit of rain. Um, but I'm here to tell you about my fabulous day yesterday at the dog club. My first meeting in three years and two months. And I also wanted to show you this gorgeous outfit on my beautiful baby Pippa, who I'm sure everybody knows is Twin B by Bonnie Brown. She's called Pippa in my nursery and she has a twin brother called John T, who is of course twin A, but he's resting at the moment. So let me just tell you briefly about yesterday, how wonderful it was. Oh, I was so happy. I just, everybody was just excited to see me in kisses and hugs and talk, 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 which of course you all know I like to do. And it was fabulous. And they said I, I looked really well. And I said, well, actually it's really, <laughs> My health has been fine. It's only that I have physical injuries and problems to deal with, but I'm healthy. Like, yeah. Anyway, it was fun. It was so much fun to see them all. And we had a big doll sale um, because the club gets donated dolls. We don't accept all donations because sometimes we get dolls that are just really, you know, we can't even sell because they're just not worth it. Whether it's the, you know, the makeup, the factory they've come from or the condition they're in or you know we don't accept those dolls but in general we accept most dolls um and it's quite fun checking out the collections because people think oh this is worth like a million dollars or something and you know they're they're not really but people don't really know they just think if a doll is old it must be worth money but not so unfortunately they're yeah, not always the case. Anyway, so we had, what we do is we sell them and raise funds for whichever is our charity of the year. This year it's the Heart and Lung Foundation. So we're raising funds for that charity. And what didn't sell yesterday will go onto our charity table at the doll fair and people always buy them from there. It's fabulous. So many people come. So that's really good anyway. So because I got there very early in the morning with Kim um, so that, Kim could help with whatever needed doing um, and I could supervise. I'm a really good supervisor, but I actually did help too. <laughs> um, we, I got to look at the dolls as we were putting them out and there was one doll in particular that I, of course, you know, I don't, I only collect, well, you don't know, but I do, you know, I've been collecting for so long now that I only collect particular things. Um, and as you know, I have some dolls that I'm going to sell at the fair anyway so there was no way I was buying a doll unless it was like a magical thing I've been looking for for 10 years but of course there wasn't anything like that not that I can think of anything really oh yes of course I can but way out of my price range anything like that anyway there was a doll there that I didn't want the doll but this was what the doll was wearing isn't it just amazing I don't know if it's silk I can't tell I'm sorry it's a bit creased but I don't know if it's silk or if it's a kind of, what else would it be, like a taffeta, although it's softer than taffeta. So I'm not really sure what the fabric is, but isn't it just glorious? And the doll that it was on was smaller, actually, than, than my Pippa. The doll was about, I think, only like 13 and a half inches, but maybe broader than she is because it fits, it fits Pippa perfectly. It fitted the other doll perfectly too. So maybe their chest measurements were the same and their little arms maybe. Um, anyway, so I bought the doll so I could have the dress. There was another, um, oh, there were a couple more that I would have loved to get. Not that I needed the outfits for any doll because they were tiny outfits, but they were knitted in one ply, one ply wool, which I'm just absolutely nuts about details and, you know, perfection and all of that kind of crazy stuff. And the outfits were just, oh, blow your mind, beautiful. There was one that was actually not a knitted one. There was a, it was made a, out of a very fine white lawn with the tiniest, most delicate embroidery on it. 
Um, and you know, I was so strong. I didn't get any of those dolls for their clothes. So um, yeah, but what I did also get, oh, maybe I, should I describe this first? Um, yeah, I think I should. So it's in a, it's a, a slightly shiny type of fabric. Yes, it's shiny. It's not like a cotton and it's, what color would you call that? Light coffee or cream or mm, maybe cream. It's so difficult to say. And it's, it's, um, it's very long. I show you her feet. Oh, there's a petticoat underneath. Let me show you that. There's the petticoat with the detail on it, the lace detail and some little pin tucks. And that's where her feet are, all the way up there. <laughs> anyway, so let's get back to the description of this amazing dress. Um, okay, so I just don't know how to describe the colour. Don't know how to describe the fabric. <laughs> but I can describe some more general things about it. It's, um, it's got short puff sleeves with lace around the edge of the, of the gathers. Beautiful lace, let me see. Can I just show the people, my darling? There, just a bit of lace there. Absolutely gorgeous. Lace around the neck. Pin tucks across the bodice. And then the most glorious smocking. Oh, so beautiful. Um, in a sort of geometric design of diamonds. Um, and um, it's in that, that colour is a slightly darker shade than the dress. And then you go down the length of the dress and it's got pinned, rows of pin tucks um, going horizontal. And inset lace, which you often get in old clothes, don't you like that? Inset lace on the horizontal. And then some beautiful, beautiful fine embroidery, grub roses and little leaves and things um, in the same colour that matches the dress, really. That nondescript colour that I just don't have the right word for. And then there's some more pin tucks, inset lace and some beautiful ribbon that matches the dress perfectly threaded through the lace. And that's it. That is the dress. It's got little buttons, three little buttons at the back. And the bonnet actually doesn't go with this dress because the bonnet was too small. Um, I guess dolls, actual dolls, have smaller heads than reborns. Although I still think reborns heads are not realistic size. I think real babies have bigger heads. When you look at a baby, when they stretch their arms up, their arms don't even reach to the tops of their heads. And it's not because they've got short arms, it's because their heads are proportionally really large. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see what her straight arm does. Yeah, that reaches over her head. But real children can't, well, I mean, their, their arms kind of come to about here somewhere, I think. Anyway, so let me think, what was I saying before I distracted myself with all that? Oh, yeah, the bonnet um, didn't come with this set. The bonnet is still on the, the original doll because it was a bit too small for, for Pippa, which is such a shame because it's got the same beautiful embroidery and it's the same fabric. But I've had this bonnet for ages. I don't know. It is a it is an old, it is a vintage bonnet and it's done in that polish type cotton. Um, it's beautiful. Let me just turn her head sideways. Do you mind, darling? You look away for a minute and we'll show the people your bonnet. There it is. Now you can see the side. It's got kind of like... A ribbon flower on either side and that's where the ribbon tie comes from and um, yeah so and it is oh let me see is it quotient it's hard to tell I always know the difference let me tell you I do always know the difference so let's see that starts off I think it starts off as knitted I think it's knitted okay the consensus is in it's a knitted bonnet and it's, it's beautiful and it matches in colour and everything perfectly. So I'm glad I, I had that. I have, you know, many things. <laughs> it's, it's really fun when I find the right thing. Um, so there we go. That is what she's wearing. Now, should we turn back to everybody? I'd like to see your beautiful little face, darling. Then we'll straighten your bonnet up. There we are. There she is, my little Pippa. She hasn't been on for a long time. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you about. And... Um, Another doll that I absolutely loved and I was trying so hard not to buy it. It was dressed in a, a white night night dress, an old fashioned one. And then over the top, it was dressed as a boy. It had a blue hand knitted cardigan with bonnet and booties to match. And oh, I loved the doll. I loved the outfit. But I, you know, I was trying to be strong.
trying, trying so hard to be strong. And I was, <laughs> but it was lucky. One of the, um, one of my friends who was sitting on the same table as me, because we had, um, we were seated at, seated at separate tables for our IT. And um, she had bought the doll. One of the girls on my table had bought that doll. And I said, oh, he's just so gorgeous, that face. Was really, I'd never seen a doll like it. He was lovely and a very serious kind of look on his face. You know, deep thinker, intelligent boy, I'm sure. <laughs> and he was wearing the blue outfit. And I said, oh, I think he's gorgeous and I love what he's wearing. And she said, oh, do you want it? She said, be, she, what she does is she fixes dolls up and she changes their outfits. So she often buys just random baby clothes, vintage baby clothes to have the fabric because she cuts the fabric up and makes it into something else. It's amazing what she does. Anyway, so she said she wouldn't use the knitted set and I said, oh, I love the knitted set. So I've been washing, it's just drying now. It's not dry enough to put on poor John T. He would freeze in a semi-damp woolen outfit, wouldn't he? Um, but I will show you probably in my next video or, or the one after um, what I got. So it's the little cardigan, the bonnet and the booties. So he'll have to have something else on his bottom half. I'll see what I can find to go with it. Um, so I had just the best day. It was brilliant. The, the high tea was really fun and just really it was <laughs> not the food, but just talking to everybody. Oh, and all the hugs and kisses I got and I just loved it. Oh, it was so much fun. I've been missing it without realising I was missing it. You know how you can get used to something and you just think, oh, yeah, whatever. That's fine. I always just enjoy what I, whatever I'm doing. And I, so I didn't actually think about missing the doll club. But having gone back to it, I'm just so excited. It was the best day ever. Um, really, it was so much fun. And then um, uh, one of the ladies who organises the programme, program her name is June she asked me if I could do a talk I've done many of those and I said yeah I could when when did she need someone she said well for July so I said yeah put me down for that so I think I'm going to talk about my Dewey's Cochran collection at that meeting in July which is at the beginning actually it's the first of July that meeting and when I do that I will show you my Dewey's Cochran dolls I'll make a video and show you because I will have them all out of the doll room. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that, which will be fun. So I was gonna, I was tossing up between my Dewey's Cochran collection, which is not very big, um, because they're hard to come by, the original Dewey's Cochran dolls. But um, yeah, they're hard to come by, especially these days. It was easier in the days when eBay was actually a good place to buy things. But these days, you know, it's not worth it the prices are higher so that the seller can recover the high fees from ebay and the shipping is outrageous because of the third party people who have inserted themselves into shipping and increase the cost so drastically um because they jump in the middle between the between the seller and the buyer they're in the middle nothing to do with the shipping service they have just created this oh, drives me mental anyway yeah, so eBay is now out of the question. And so, of course, being in Australia, we just don't see these kind of special dolls from overseas very much unless you can get them, you know, from, a, you know, a, a platform like eBay. Um, but anyway, so I don't have many Dewey's Cochrane, um, but on that day we are having a big auction. So there won't be, you know, hours and hours for me to talk like there is now. Oh, my goodness, I've gone so long already. Oh, sorry, darlings. I will stop in a second, I promise. Um, so it was either the Dewey's, my Dewey's Cochrane, of which I think I only have five, and one of them is a modern one. I had a couple more modern ones, but I've sold them. Um, but I've still kept one. I think I've got one. So altogether five, if you count that modern one. So I've only got four. Yeah. Anyway, that or my um, Katie Cruiser collection, which I haven't shown at the Doll Club for years and years and years. And of course, that is at the heart of my all my collecting is my Katie Cruiser dolls. Oh, my goodness. They are, I tell you, stunning dolls for me. I just absolutely love them. Anyway, so I decided it would be best to go with my Dewey's Cochrane collection because there are fewer of them, probably not as much to say about them. And I could be quicker if I needed to be. Yeah, so that was my day yesterday. And this is 
um, one of two things that I brought home and no dolls, just outfits. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed seeing this gorgeous outfit that I couldn't describe, I'm so sorry. Um, if you um, if you think you can decide on what colour to call this other than cream, maybe you could put it in the comments and if somebody really wanted to know if they couldn't see it properly when their when their reader is reading the comments they could see what how you described it although of course it never comes across on the screen the same as it does in real life but it's not bad it's not a bad likeness so my dear friends i'll stop talking now oh quarter of an hour i'm so sorry i was going to be super quick anyway <laughs> i will go and i'll be back on tuesday with a twinning video as a special treat for you and me <laughs> and the other person who's twinning. I'm very excited for that. Very, very excited. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Oh, by the way, thank you so, so much for your support of my last video, which was so long. I really appreciate it. I really do, because I know that a lot of people aren't interested in long videos. I must admit, I really enjoy them. Um, but, you know, I, I do other things while the video is on. I don't just sit down and watch because I rarely sit and watch things. I usually, I'm an action woman within my very small confines of what action I can do. <laughs> All right, my darlings, before I keep going, I will stop. Thank you so much for visiting Pippa and for visiting me and for being here in our humble home all the way in Sydney, Australia. Thank you very much for take, taking the time to visit us. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.